The black-white specific area tool is a great tool for basic presence-absence applications if you just need to know a feature or part is there or not. It is a tool that will count the number of pixels in a specified intensity range in the inspection region and report back the pixel count. This tool is found in the presence discrimination category of the tool list. The generic tool name for this tool is the area tool and this is found in the function list. This tool can be used with monochrome or color cameras. When you add the tool, the first step, if you haven't done so already, will be to register the image. The registered image will be saved into the program settings and can be used as a reference image to set up the tool. When the desired image is on the screen, click Register to save the image and click OK. The next step is to set up your inspection region. This is the region of interest where you want to count the number of pixels that are in your specified intensity range. As a default, rectangle is selected, but you can choose from rotated rectangle, circle, oval, ring, arc, or even up to a 12-pointed polygon. We'll just draw the rectangle around most of the screen and then click OK. This tool works off of a binary processed image. It will convert each pixel in the grayscale image to either white or black based off the binary setting. If the pixel intensity or brightness falls between the lower and upper range, it is set to white or 255. If it falls outside the range, it is converted to zero or black. The filtered image will indicate this conversion process. The graph here will indicate a histogram of the distribution of intensities within the inspection region. If you are using a color camera, the color image is automatically converted to a grayscale image by taking the average RGB levels for each pixel. As a default, the binary range will be automatically set based off the distribution of intensities of the pixels in the region as you can see here. That's what the auto set button will do also. The binary conversion range can be adjusted by simply dragging the low bar and high bar in the binary distribution screen as you can see here. In this example, we're going to isolate on the intensity of this blue cap so we can fail it if any other cap of different intensity shows up. Uh, the filtered image again will show us the on-off binary image, but you can always switch over to the raw image to confirm the uh, actual raw color image or if it's grayscale, the grayscale image. So as you can see here, we got some blue caps, and then I have some red and yellow and white caps. Here's a red cap. So if I change the filtered image, you can see that we have no pixels, so we're looking good there. We change it back to raw. We'll take a look at one of these other colors. Um, here's a white cap. If I change the filter, you can see again, we have no pixels, so we're looking good. And again, you can see the histogram updated here. And we'll check one more here. We got a yellow cap in the mix. Let me show you. And you can also see that the there is no pixels in the binary conversion. So it's looking pretty good here. So it's a good idea to run a bunch of good parts and some of the known bads to kind of confirm and make sure that you have the proper binary upper, low, and lower level set. Once you have the desired binary range set, you can now set the detection color under detection conditions. As a default, it will count the white pixels. In other words, the pixels that fall within your upper and lower in binary range. But you can also choose black, which will count the off pixels. In other words, it'll count the pixels that do not fall within your upper and lower binary range within the inspection region. For this example, we'll leave it under the default setting, white, so we'll count the number of pixels that fall within our binary low and upper range. The last step in the tool setup is to set up the judgment conditions or limits. This will dictate if the tool will pass or fail when executed. There is only one value to set a limit on in this tool and it is the area or pixel count. The measured value will display the currently measured pixel count for the image that is selected, whether that's the current image or the reference image. To set a limit, just simply click the field and set the desired limit. Once you set your upper and lower judgment limit, you can actually run some parts if you'd like to confirm the operation. As long as the measured value falls within the upper limit and lower limit, the tool will pass OK. If it falls outside the range, you can see the tool will fail. So here's a low count 
you can see the tool fail. And that's it. Click OK to complete the tool setup. As the tool is running, you can always confirm the operation by using the filtered image or the changing it over to the raw image. If the tool is ever giving you trouble and it's not detecting properly, the filtered image will tell you the true story as this will show you the converted binary image.